Post-Dispatch editorial page welcomes former United States Senator Bob Carey of Nebraska to the platform. The problem with education is we, we, we never spend as much time or as money as we ought to on it. And, uh, you know, we, we rarely put our money where our mouth is and we rarely put our time where our mouths are when it comes to education. But there are solutions. And, you know, one piece of it is resources and one piece of it is, is talent and effort and energy and um, it's an ever-changing and it's an ever-changing landscape. Mm -hmm. So uh, at the higher education level the most important thing is to, just to survive. Make sure your balance sheet is good and your finances are good so um, so you're among the, uh, the survivors and we just have to make sure that we're in the uh, that, that we're doing what's necessary to be here a hundred years from now. And by the way, we're more likely to be here 100 years from now than 75% of nation states on the earth. So we hold something important. We hold, the, we hold culture, we hold, hold um, intellectual ideas, and we tend to pass them on. So, um, you know, universities are, are a lot more, in other words, than just uh, producers of graduates who are gonna go out and add value to the economy. He unique in America has the capacity to transcend race. And if he gives that Selma speech over and over and over, the speech he gave in Selma um, uh, is a transforming speech. It's, it's the Bill Cosby speech only delivered much more eloquently uh, and much more respectfully, which it says essentially, I'm gonna fight for, for civil rights, I'm gonna fight for more money for ed education and health for all the poor, black and white alike. But if you don't fight to be a good mom and dad, if you don't fight to, uh, do well in school. If you don't fight to avoid self-destructive behavior, there's nothing I can do to help you. Uh, no white politician can say that. Only Barack Obama can say that. So he has the capacity to transcend race. Public opinion has always been the great danger in democracy. Uninformed public opinion has always been the great danger. You know, this morning on radio station, it, it questions about trade, and the guy was, you know, looks at the bottom of the computer, where is it made? And, and you know, hear the Democratic candidates out all saying NAFTA has been bad. NAFTA, there's no facts showing that NAFTA has been bad. It, ignorance, fear, and and grievance uh, flows together to make very bad public opinion, and it's what's keeping us from doing the right thing on entitlements. I mean, we got we went from 600 to 952 billion dollars for Medicare, Social Security, and Medicaid from 2000 to 2007. No increase in the number of beneficiaries, none. And in two years. Uh, the baby boomers are going out, and they're going to start drawing Medicare. They're already starting to draw Social Security this year, right? Uh, that number's going up. And what's our solution? Restrict immigration. Well, that'll, that'll get the job done. Restrict immigration and increase the benefits. No uh, uh, information provided about how we need to either change our behavior or recognize that there's limits. Energy's the same way. And, and, at three dollars and sixty cents or seventy cents a gallon right now. People are screaming about the price. All right, you know, say my my car gets about twenty five miles to the gallon. I get out and walk twenty five miles. Does it feel like I'm getting my money's worth to do it for three dollars and sixty cents? I think so. Um, you know, when it was two dollars a, a gallon, if we'd have put a buck fifty in tax and started to build a solar uh, alternative. We'd have been we'd been loving it today. It's going to be five bucks, and we're going to look back on the day when it was three sixty and say, why didn't we do it then? Instead of shipping it all to Iran and Saudi Arabia, and you know, the great transcendent challenge of this of this century is trying to figure out how to make globalization work. It's not the global war on terror. Right trade policies, right tax policies, right regulatory policies. You know, we're sitting here worrying about outsourcing to India. You go to India, they're worried about outsourcing to China. History is full of mistakes and tragedies and missteps and full of moments when we did the right thing. We just, you know, we managed, human beings have managed over time to make things better. Newton's Mathematica Principia is put out the same year that we, ext we extinguished the dodo bird. But you look at the good things that we've done, and I think on balance they weigh down the bad things we've done.